What's up guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com today with an Atrix tutorial. This time, unlocking your bootloaders. Okay, I'm back and I just want to say thanks to all you Atrix guys for hanging out and standing by and knowing that eventually I would get some Atrix videos out. I plan on releasing this one here in, in the next 24 hours. I'd also like to get one on 4.1.83 and how to maintain root. And I've also gotten a special ROM request one as well. And obviously there's now Clark Mod Recovery for unlocked Atrix phones, which uh, if you're going to follow this video, you'll be able to benefit from Clockwork Mod and all of the awesomeness that's probably going to soon follow with the Atrix now that the bootloaders have been unlocked. With all that said, let's talk about what we're going to be dealing with. Okay, so we have our Atrix here. I'm not even going to worry about doing the Moto Blur unlock because I don't have my SIM in it right now. But uh, this is our Atrix. It's running uh, factory stock firmware out of the box. It's not 4.1.83, but it's, um, I believe it's the in-between one. I can't remember which one I have on it. It doesn't matter which firmware you have uh, or what the status of your phone is. First thing we need to do is power the phone down. Uh, now keep in mind that unlocking your bootloader uh, does void your warranty, uh, so if you need to use the warranty, you could be denied a warranty from unlocking the bootloader. With that being said, unlocking the bootloader also will unravel the full potential of the phone and allow developers to really hack in and do some custom uh, modifications much further than just standard root uh, system framework and deodexing and whatnot. Um, so for more information on that, just do some Google searching. Please don't fill up the video comment section with what will this do for my phone. You won't see any enhancement right now until you flash something that requires an unlocked Atrix. And you can find out a lot more about that in the Android development section on xtadevelopers.com. Also, if you would like a fantastic text tutorial to go along with this great video tutorial, uh, you can actually check that out at my friends below, uh, briefmobile.com. They have a great text write-up at briefmobile.com. They have a YouTube channel as well. And uh, you can check out the text write-up to follow step-by-step -step with this as well. Um, all right, so with that being said, first step is to download your drivers for the Motorola Atrix and the SPF Lite tool, uh, RSD Lite tool. Uh, those can both be found below on my website, mobiletechvideos.com. You can get both of those, download them, uh, and you will also go ahead and need to download the bootloader unlock patch file as we'll be needing to patch that in using the RSD Lite tool. Now, there's going to be some prereqs here. I'm going to ask that you please go ahead and watch my SDK tools video there and that you please probably go ahead and watch my um, RSD Lite uh, video here. And that was for flashing original firmware back to your Atrix. Both of these videos are going to be prereqs, in my opinion, for unlocking your bootloaders. As this is, ah, you know, I'm going to give it a 6 or a 7 on a 10 scale, simply because we have to use some command line and whatnot. So, you may have some questions, you need to watch those first. I'm not going to fully explain what SDK tools are and fully explain the RSD uh, light tool. Uh, so watch those two first, you'll get an idea of what they both do, and even if you're not computer or tech savvy, you should be able to follow along with this. Okay, so with that being said, download both. Go ahead and open up your RSD Lite tool, uh, as we can see here. And we need to go ahead and click this three-dot button, which is the Browse button. Browse out to where you have put your, uh, your bootloader unlock file. Um, that is going to be presented in a RAR file, as you'll see here. Just open it up with WinRAR or WinZip or something that can open a RAR file and extract that SPF file. Put it somewhere and locate it with RSD Lite and double click. Okay. Now remember, you have to have your SDK tools set up and you have to understand the basics on SDK tools. That's why I asked that you watch my SDK tool video that I created months and months and months ago before I ever realized I would have MobileTechVideos.com to help people understand what the SDK tools are. They are absolutely priceless if you have an Android phone and you want to modify it. All right, so our phone's powered off. Let's go ahead and put it in RSD Lite uh, function mode. Volume down. While you're holding volume down, hold the power button. Hold them both simultaneously until we get the white text at the top of the phone. So we'll continue holding until we see some white text. All right. 
Now we see some white text, we got fast boot. Use volume down to toggle through the options. When we find the RSD option, we'll use volume up to select. So volume down until we find it. And there it is, RSD. Press volume up once. It starts RSD protocol support. Now if your drivers are installed and you have the RSD light tool up and running with the SPF tool selected, we can plug this in and we can see that we're now connected. At this time, we need to go ahead and click start and get this process kicked off. So I'm gonna click start and uh, we'll kick this process off. Let me show you guys what the, and we'll move this over here to the non-important info. All right, and you'll see the progress bar here. You'll see the result and the status of what it's doing. So right now it's verifying checksums. It's almost done with that. This process is gonna take about two minutes. Now what we're doing here is patching in the unlock file that will allow us to unlock the bootloader. Without doing this step, you can't unlock the bootloader. So do this step first, and we'll go to the next series of steps to continue unlocking the bootloader of this phone. So I'm going to uh, catch up with you guys in about three minutes. Your phone may even restart during this. It probably it actually will restart during this, but you'll notice that the execution is still performing some steps. Don't touch your phone until the result area says pass. Matter of fact, just wait for me to come back on the screen. Don't touch your phone, period. I'll catch up with you guys in just a moment. Okay, here we are. We have a status of finished, a result of pass. Phone's back up. We can't really tell anything else that's happened at this point. Uh, we need to go ahead and power the phone back down now. We are done with the RSD light tool, so I will be powering this off. I'll even close the RSD light tool. Now, if you watch the SDK Tools video and you got that set up, we need to open a command prompt. You can do this by clicking Start, and down here in the bottom left, you can type in CMD and press Enter. Uh, so I have Google Search, so I'll just use that. And get a command prompt open. Dang, I tried to get my reflection out here. Got my ball cap on. Uh, let me see if I can get a little bit of zoom. Definitely need to clean that screen. Alright, you guys are going to have to deal with my face here. Sorry about that. Definitely not a professional here. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so here's our Atrix. It's powered off. We need to put this thing back into fast boot mode, which is very similar steps, practically the same. Hold volume down, hold power until we get some white text uh, along with our logo. Continue to hold. Fast boot. Press volume up to select. Enabling fast boot protocol. Now, if you got your drivers installed, this shouldn't be a big deal. As long as the SDK tools and the drivers are installed, we should be able to install this. And uh, everything should be good to go here. All right. Now, this is where it's going to require some, uh, I don't know, a little bit of experience, or at least just follow my steps exactly. Now, you could have extracted your SDK tools to a number of different locations. I, for example, have mine in the root C drive under Android SDK tools right there. And uh, the tool we're going to be dealing with right now is Fastboot. Now, I believe by default it's actually under Platform Dash Tools. Uh, the original SDK had it under Tools, and that's what I'm familiar with, so I moved mine to Tools. Uh, so when we're doing the change directory command here in a sec, you may actually change directory to platform tools. Now you can check that out under your regular file explorer. Figure out where you have Fastboot. So like for example, under tools, this is where my Fastboot is, right there. So that's where I'm changing directories to in order to run Fastboot. However, yours could be under platform tools. Just kind of, you can even go in here and simply do a search right here for fast boot and you should be able to find out exactly where it's at so and then you could right click it and just say open uh, file directory or whatever and you could see exactly where it's at so mine's under tools as you can see there so that's some quick help for you guys just in case you're having trouble following along so here we are we're at our command prompt we need to change directories to the uh, directory that holds your fastboot.exe so for me I'll change directories to cd space c colon backslash uh, android and you can press tab to, to autofill the rest of it in so android sdk tools backslash tools 
So T O tools. So you need to you know get yours to where you're at there. So like I said, I use the tab key after typing in the first letters of the folder. It'll pre-fill that info for you, just in case you're not familiar with command line. Now, all you command line guys are probably like, come on, Josh, let's get through with this. But in reality, imagine trying to walk someone through this that has no idea how to use command line with anything. You know, So I'm trying to be generous here. I'm trying to help you guys out. So making the video longer, but whatever. Uh, so anyways, uh, once you've got your directory, CD for change directory, followed by the correct directory location that houses the fastboot.exe command, press enter, and now we'll notice that we've changed directories. Now, if you want to see all the things that fastboot can do, you can press enter, as soon as I get that off, uh, and you can see all the different things you can do with fastboot. Fastboot is used for tons of the original Google devices, uh, the Nexus phones, Nexus S, Nexus One, those guys all use Fastboot uh, to do a lot of things, and uh, it's actually a really useful tool. You can uh, flash different portions of the phone with Fastboot, so Fastboot can be used as a firmware flasher uh, for the recovery image, the boot image, the system image, the uh, modem image, tons of things, actually the bootloader image. Uh, so it's actually a very useful tool. You can do a ton of things with fa uh, Fastboot, uh, and, you know, you can fix a lot of soft break situations. Fortunately for us, we have um, RSD Lite, which some people don't really care for. In reality, it's always great to have an official uh, tool that's used for firmware flashing on your phone. So we're actually very fortunate, in my opinion, to have RSD Lite. So with all that said, let's get into unlocking this phone so I can shut this video off. It's midnight here, and I'm tired, and I did this for you guys because a lot of you guys were asking for it. So here you go. You guys definitely deserve an Andrix video. Okay, so we're at our command prompt. We're going to type fastboot OEM unlock. There's spaces between fastboot and OEM and OEM and unlock. So fastboot OEM unlock. Let me even get this up a little higher for you guys. Press enter. All right, so now we have the uh, ID of the device. And this tells us that this could permanently void our warranty. This process can't be reversed. You can't reverse this process. If you think for any reason you're going to, um, I, I, don't, I don't really know, I, I doubt they're going to deny you a warranty for this because in the past at t is actually very lenient about this. Uh, by the way, I don't know if this works on Bell Atrix. So if you have a Bell Atrix, <laughs> hopefully you uh, watch the warning at the beginning of the video and watch this first and then perform on your device. But anyways, uh, we're doing this on a, uh, an AT&T Atrix. So I don't know if it works on Bell Atrix or any of the other variants. But So anyways, uh, I don't think you're going to have a problem with warranty, but obviously it states right there that this could permanently void your warranty. I wish they would just say it does or doesn't. I don't know why they put it like that, but uh, it's probably based on your carrier. Also on the phone, we now have the same thing. Unlocking your device may void your warranty. We don't care. We want the cool factor. So we're going to type the same command again. Fastboot space OEM space unlock. Followed by your unique ID. 048423F. Uh, might as well do capital. I don't know if it's case sensitive. I doubt it, but we'll do it anyways. Followed by your ID. Fastboot OEM unlock. Followed by your ID. You're going to press enter. We'll do it side by side here. And it's processing that information right now. And in just a moment, your device is now unlocked. Boom. That's unlocking your bootloaders. Uh, brought to you by MobileTechVideos.com. To get out of this, you can technically do a battery pull, but we'll just do fast boot space reboot. And the phone will reboot itself. Now you have unlocked bootloaders you have, and you'll see unlocked up here in the top left, um, you have full ability to modify this phone with whatever these awesome developers can create uh, over on xdadevelopers.com. Uh, be sure to bookmark us, mobiletechvideos.com. Um, bookmark the site. Uh, we'd love to have you as a subscriber here on YouTube. We put out videos all the time, uh, and I'm working on getting more out for the Atrix, and I have a good feeling that I'm going to be putting out a lot more now that these things are unlocked. Um, you can check us out on Twitter. Be sure to like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, bookmark the site, mobiletechvideos.com. We can also perform this unlock as a service uh, as well. Um, put a link in the description below for that. If you are interested, we do LCD fixes, and we can debrick a ton of phones, um, including this one, if you get in a soft brick situation and the phone 
won't do anything, we can actually resolve that for you, uh, and we'd love to do that as well. Um, so mobiletechvideos.com, I hope to pick you guys up as a subscriber if you are new to the channel. Uh, be sure to join now because this thing's blowing up and people really uh, enjoy uh, coming together as a community and these videos hopefully are helping you guys out. So anyways, mobiletechvideos.com, I'm Josh, I'll see you on the next video, thanks for watching.